Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, we are going to start off with a new playlist that is of management science. And in this video, we are going to learn what is the definition of management and what is the characteristics of management, characteristics of management or nature of management. For anything, you can write the uh, characteristics or nature which I tell in this video. And also the five M's of management. So uh, let's uh, get into the video. Along with that, I'm sorry, yeah, we are going to learn about levels of management and importance of management as well. So uh, let's get into the video now and let's uh, start. So first, let's understand what is the definition of the word management. Manage you all know what is management, right? But uh, if we are asked to write the definition of management on pen and paper, then we can't because that is a word which we know managing things or something like that. We know but we cannot re uh, write it. So the standard definition of management given by some of the economists or some of the uh, some people is management is an art of getting things done through others. So making others to do work, making others to do the things it is called as management. Everybody can't have can't do this, right? Everybody can't uh, co coordinate, uh, you know, they cannot establish a coordination among people and they cannot communicate with people and they cannot make people to do work. So it is an art of getting things done through others. And it can also be defined as to forecast, to control, to plan and to evaluate. You know what forecasting is, right? Um, future like weather forecasting we do right so what may happen tomorrow what may happen day after tomorrow so to forecast to predict what happens in future and also to control the things and also to plan the things and also to ev evaluate okay evaluation in the sense uh, performing analysis or performing results over that so that is the formal definition of the word management done so after this as i said we will be learning about the characteristics of nature of management characteristics or nature of management for anyone you can take these things okay so uh, what are the characteristics of management first you can say it is a multidisciplinary in nature multidisciplinary in the nature in the sense uh, it is not a thing it does not follow a single discipline it is like some from so many departments it will integrate the things like it involves sociology it involves psychology so it is multidisciplinary it is depending it is evolved from various departments not a single department and it is a group activity management is not a single activity one single person cannot do management one single person cannot manage all the things right so it is a group activity all the manager and the workers has to work together they has to work as a group and next it is a factor of production like how man labor raw material money all these things are factor of production management is also a factor of production because if you manage properly if you do management properly then only the outcome will be perfect right so this is also one of the factor of production then and it is a social oh, sorry i have written social response it's not social response it's social process i'm sorry so it's a social process done a uh, social process i need not explain about this word and it is a dynamic function so what do you mean by dynamic function in the sense uh, it changes according to the situation like um, in in case of a small scale industry management has to be like uh, managing only among that industry in case of large export and import business it has to be about managing the imports and managing the exports so it has to change dynamically according to the situation according to the business according to the organization it has to change dynamically done and management is a profession like how teaching a doctor engineer like how all these are professions management is also a profession which is a very important profession right and intangible what do you mean by intangible i uh, i pronounce it as intangible it's intangible or whatever it's your uh, wish how you pronounce it so intangible is nothing but we cannot see with our eyes so management we cannot see it with our eyes but we can uh, you know assume it we can think about it we can plan so uh, management is a thing which we cannot see with our eyes done next after this as i said after characteristics or nature of management we are going to uh, into the five m's of the management so let's see what are the five m's of the management so first one is men methods material money and machinery so among all these five m's men is the very important uh, m okay among all the five m's men is very important because if you don't have men 
then methods are waste material are waste what do you do with material when there are nobody to process that material right money is waste machinery everything is waste when you don't have uh, perfect men perfect man power so uh, along with all these methods all these five ms men is very important and you know what methods are right so what are the methodologies that we are going to follow top down approach or bottom up approach or anything method and material of course we need raw material in order to process them and make them as a finished goods right and money money is investment revenue is very important and also machinery is also very important because men cannot do all the work right if men only has to do all the work then it becomes years and years to produce a good so machinery is also very important done so management definition is done characteristics or nature of management is done uh, five ms of the management is done next is the levels of management so how many levels you have in the management and what each level does is what we are going to see in this levels of management okay done so in levels of management we have total of three levels so in those three levels the first one is called as the top level the first one and the second one is called as the middle level and the third one is called as the low level so uh, why i have represented in the, uh, why it is represented in the form of triangle is if you can see the top level it has only small area that means only less number of people will be there in the top level whereas coming to middle level a uh, moderate number of people will be there whereas coming to low level which has more area here in low level you will be having more number of people so uh, let's see who will come under top level who will come under middle level and who will come under this low level in this top level all executive officers like ceos uh, managing directors of the company or board of directors of the company so all those people will be coming under this top level okay the executives chief executives higher authorities all those people will be coming under this top level done and who will come under the middle level means managers will be coming under the okay before that i'll tell you what this top level uh, people will be doing they will just plan everything so it has to uh, happen in so and so way so they will be planning all the things but they will not do anything not do anything in the sense physically they will not do anything but they will be planning intellectually uh, with brain they will be doing they will be planning everything and what this middle level will do who will be in the middle level means all general managers all those uh, people managers general managers so those kind of people will be there in the middle level and the, what this middle level will do they will act as a communication between the top level and also the low level okay done so whatever the instructions or whatever the plan the top level has defined designed that will be passed over to the low level by these general managers so they will be taking the plan from them and they will be passing to it and they'll also observe how low, low level is performing okay done so this is about the middle level the next comes the low level so who will come under the low level the actual people who are working the actual uh, people who are working will come under this low level and like trainee people trainees uh, interns so all these people will be coming under this low level okay so the top level will be planning middle level will act as an inter uh, communication and low level will be doing the work which is planned by the top level uh, trainees interns will be coming under this level okay then so this is about the top level middle level and low level and also in top level you'll have less number of people comparatively to middle level and middle level you'll have less number of people when compared to low level so in low level there will be so many people because planning will be done uh, by the intellig uh, intellectuals and all so middle level will be passing on but the low level people has to actually do the work right so you need so many people to do the work um so that is the reason why you'll have so many people in the low level done so these are the levels of management so the last topic in this video is what is the importance of management why do we have to learn about this subject management sciences and what is the importance why do we have to follow management and see management is very easy you people uh, we people will think that right uh, we will manage everything everything in our home um, our mom will manage everything in our home so it's not like just managing so small things at home managing a big organization will definitely need some uh, sequence will definitely need some steps right so that is the reason why we have to learn management and let's see what are the uh, what is the importance of management okay so the first importance of management is 
for effective utilization of resources in order to use the resources effectively you need management if you are not following a proper plan if you are not executing the plan properly then all the resources will be wasted right you cannot use them effectively which in case you have to in, 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 uh, you know invest more money and you will be going into loss if you don't follow a management and development of resources again uh, which is almost like that and to incorporate innovations in order to if there are any new innovations we, in order to incorporate them into our business and all we need management and the last one is for better con coordination among all departments so in a in a company we will not have a single department right we'll have hr uh, we'll have production we'll have marketing so there will be so many departments in a particular company so and there will be also be a technical team so in order to have a coordination among all these people all these departments we need management okay so so far we have seen for effective utilization of resources and development of resources and also to in incorporate innovations and also for the coordination among people of all the departments then we have some more let's see so and as i said uh, we have some more importance is uh, the last two provide security of employees in order to provide security or uh, to our employees also we need a proper management if we don't proper man uh, if you don't if we don't plan if you don't if you are not having a proper management then obviously we cannot provide security to employees keeping security to employees aside there is no security for our business even and in order to complete the tasks on time so our client will be giving us a work and we need to complete that work on time right so um that you can complete the work on time only if you plan it properly only if you manage it properly so uh, i'll be doing i'll be gathering the requirements today and tomorrow i'll be planning and day after tomorrow i'll be coding so like that you have to have a plan if you you have to manage the things if you don't manage the things you cannot complete the tasks on time right so for all these things uh, you need management and these are the importance of management and in this video we have learned what is the definition of management characteristics or nature of management importance the 5 m's and the levels in the management and all so that's all for this video guys i hope this video would be useful for you and also let me know in the comment section what you feel about the video because this is the first video in the playlist and if you guys are feeling good if you guys are able to understand what i am telling in the video then i'll be continuing this subject I'm having a bit confidence on this subject because um, I have done managerial economics and financial analysis, right? So that I have seen uh, people gi giving a lot of good response, positive response to that. So that is the reason why, with that confidence, I have started the subject. And I hope I'll be continuing the subject like this, and you'll be supporting me like this. And thanks for watching the video. I'll be definitely continuing. Not hope. but i want support from your side i hope support from your side and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you having your exams uh, no sooner of this subject just let me know in the comment section from which date you are having your exam of this subject so that i can hurry up right uh, we have this subject on 6th so i have time till 6th of july so if you are having it before that date let me know in the comment section so that i'll hurry up thanks for uh, watching the video let's meet up soon in the next coming video